What is up, guys? It is Liam here, and I am back and ready to clash, baby. So, uh, today, uh, as you can see, I'm actually loading in a different app. So, uh, this is the House of Clashers, the unofficial guide to Clash Clans, and I am showing you the Barbarian because today I am doing an all Barbarian raid. So, the Barbarian, of course, the, the first troop that you unlock uh, in the game. As you can see here, it starts off uh, pretty weak. It's like uh, 8 damage per second, and it only takes 45 hit points, but then once it gets up to level 5 here, when I start using them, it's, it's 23 uh, damage per second and 95 hit points, and that's really when I started using them a lot. Um, as you can see, it looks the same during 1 and 2. Uh, same during 3 and 4. This is my favorite one, level 5 upgrade. And level 6 just looks like a freaking beast. So, yeah, I'm really liking uh, these upgrades. I'm just waiting for these troops here. Um, as you can see, they still, they're easily the cheapest. Uh, it only costs 1,500,000 elixir to upgrade them to level 5, which is a whole whack load cheaper than it normally would be. It would be like... The second cheapest is uh, 2,350,000 to upgrade level 5, so um, easily the cheapest, and it gets a lot more damage. Uh, as you can see here, for all the way through, um, housing space is still 1, training time is uh, 20, movement speed 16, attack speed is 1 second, and... Uh, yeah, I don't know. Barbarians, I, I never used them at the beginning of the game because I didn't have wall breakers, so I had to use the archers to, to just get over the walls. But uh, on my second account, I used them a lot at the beginning just because uh, they went through level one and two walls pretty easily. Anyways, I realized that after. So, uh, yeah, my troops should be just about ready for battle. I have, might have a couple things to show you in here. Because I haven't, uh, yeah, I haven't put anything up lately, I haven't really recorded, um, so, I just gotta show you what I've done to my base, and, uh, right off the bat here, I have, I have, uh, my third barracks, level 10, so, now there's only one that isn't there, as you can see, I'm training all these troops, um, I switch clans again, I'm just trying to find a solid clan, actually, I'm about, uh, yeah, 15th when I joined, I was 15th, 15th, um, I dropped in trophies, like, it was, was just struggling lately, I actually tried a, an all hog raid this morning, did not work, but I, uh, actually kind of want to start up this new series, where I raid with, uh, all of one special unit, like, the barbarian here is going to be the start off to the series, and, uh, yeah. So as you can see, I finished the inside of these walls, um, upgraded the, a lot of outside walls as well, and I'm just working on this one, this, that's going to be the last wall that I upgrade, and then I can start working on the other Teslas. Um, yeah, when I think, I think when my walls are done, I'm going to try and get these cannons to level 9, uh, because it's still only 800 grand, but I might also get these uh, Arch Towers level 8 because they're only 720 as well. Then uh, after that I definitely want to upgrade my air defense a couple more times before the I upgrade my town hall. Same with my mortars because they're a bit behind. Uh, yeah, my wizard towers are still level 3 as well so they're behind. Um, yeah, I've quite the gems now so I can probably just jam my Barb King back up to life in uh, two minutes. So, yeah. It's kind of awkward actually. I don't really know what to talk about. Uh, oh, right. Lately I've been trying to uh, do with the single player maps. So I got a lot of those done. Oh, I haven't done this one, I guess. Um, but, yeah, I'm way at the bottom now. 
This is a very difficult one. I'm not going to rate it right now, but you can just take a look at it. It doesn't look too difficult, but it was very hard to beat. I've actually been taking some tips from YouTubers to beat this one as well. Um, but it hasn't been working for me so far. Uh, I haven't changed my base, but I think I'm going to do it soon because I don't like these these two elixir stores just being right there and being like uh, these two here and being so close to each other and being so close to the dark elixir storage as well um... right now i'm just trying to build my dark elixir up that's the only reason why i push for crystal so i could get that dark elixir bonus when i raid uh... if i win at least so yeah should be ready any second now yeah thirty seconds i kinda wanna save as many gems as i can for my barb king oh, twenty two is not bad but, yeah, I'm still at 253 because of all the, uh, because of everything I've had to gem since I did that, uh, uh since I got into crystal. And I, I've also been getting a lot of gems lately. Um, yeah. So, it looks like these guys are just wrapping up here. Yeah, last one, so I'll finish up my power king here. Yeah. Um. Yeah, but I'm not doing a special series. I'm still trying to keep with these same attacks. No. Um. Right now, I'm looking for a pretty specific base because I can't do a base that has good, good uh, mortars at it. So, like, very specific bases that are very low level and. Um, low level mortars or easy mortars to take out like this one for sure instance but I don't think I'll do this um yeah no I think a lot of people do know how important mortars are in this game so they upgrade their mortars a lot um yeah if I can't find a one that has weak mortars then I'm just gonna Spray them around in circles and hope for the best. But I have my Barb King ready, so... Um, I kind of want to do some stuff with him. I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet for this raid, but... All I know is, is it's all barbarians. I'm looking for a pretty low town hall as well. That only has... The, uh... A bit less. Oh, this one's pretty bad. Not very upgraded, maybe like four or five like mine. Because uh, mine aren't upgraded at all, really. It's one thing I kind of want to upgrade a lot more. Um, oh, jeez. I guess I'm starting this one. Okay, so I'm thinking... Of, I was thinking about this one, but I accidentally... Uh, Dropped a barbarian to start off the raid anyway, so. As you can see, I'm just spraying him right around in circles. Working perfectly fine. Probably one of the best strategies that you can get for um, barbarians. Especially high level barbarians. Um, I'm just looking at where I should place my barb king right now. I'm thinking about just placing them right there. Because as you can see, this is one of the few walls that's broken in. Uh, there is a lot of defenses I should have thought about that a little more. Maybe I don't think I'm going to win this raid, guys. Honestly, I'm not very good at uh, with barbarians. I make it to 40. No, not even 35 is it. Wow. Um, I'm already losing some trophies, so. Uh, I'm thinking I might do a bit better when I do my uh, all archer raid, but that'll be. Uh, hopefully, that'll be tomorrow. No, I won't do it right now. Um. Yeah, well, okay, so, the last thing is, with my third barracks, now I added an extra dragon, so, I'll teach you probably the most efficient way, and it makes troops really fast. I'm not going to raid right away with this, but it still makes troops really fast here. And, uh, so it's a dragon, 
and uh, two wizards and two giants in the first three barracks and the fourth barracks is Theodore, two dragons, two giants and then it's um, one uh, wall breaker in each Six five five one and then huh. Huh. I don't think I did this one right. Um not sure what I'm missing though. Just one of each spell. It's what I usually use. Oh. Right, sorry, it's two healers. My bad. Um, I always like using two healers just so I can drop troops in two separate places and still have healers at both of them. Um Yeah, I'm at nineteen forty nine trophies right now. Oh, probably yeah, right at the bottom of my league, but I still have about fifty trophies safe of dropping down back into Gold one, which is not what I want to do, because there's still a lot of time left in the league unless I'm just, you know, just uh, yeah. If you ever want to find out how much time you have left in this league, you can always just check the clan tournament. It always tells you up there. Oh, or you can just uh, check right before below your league, but it's a lot more obvious in clan tournament. Um, I just want to show you what I want my boys to end up looking like when I never won the world. Yeah. So, uh, I've actually been thinking about starting up a clan. So, whenever I get, uh, YouTube famous, I might start up a clan or even get a few more people in here. Uh, a few more followers on YouTube. And then I might start up a clan. Uh, if you guys wanna join that one. I'm actually really excited to start up a clan again. I, I tried to start up one, but. It was just a screw up. There was a lot of problems. I uh, yeah. If you ever want to start up a clan, try and get someone that's in Crystal Three to join you, though. Right off the bat, because people look for Crystal Threes, and that's pretty much my only advice about making a clan. Either that or having like a original name. Like I think my old one was. Uh, I don't even remember it anymore. Oh. Arctic Lions, I don't know where I came... Oh, right, I was listening to Arctic Monkeys when I came up with that, I think. Okay, so, uh, yeah, see you guys later. I'll post this on YouTube right now.